Hello, it's great to be here. My name is Tommy. I'm one of the co-founders of Droney. In 2007, Steve Jobs introduced the iPhone to the world. But what made this phone to be part of our life? It was App Store, added endless possibilities to that phone. Today, we have drones. We have a lot of drones. A lot of companies making different applications with drones. But we don't have apps. Still, we cannot write application to any of these drones. And today's drones like smartphone without ap applications. And when we are making application with drones, one of the biggest problem we all face is to build a drone. We have to go back to drawing board, design our drones, make electronics, write software, and most of developers spend years on that. And at the end, they see that they made a mistake, go back and fix it, spend more time, more time and more money on that. And we also talk with the guys, engineers from big companies, startups, hobbyists, students, and all agree that to building a drone is a nightmare. And we build a better solution. Drone is a drone with a, uh, is a drone that flies longer, flies even at bad weather conditions, and it has APIs that allows developers to write software to the drone directly without making drone itself. We are already using drone in many different areas, like infrastructure inspection, like search and rescue, like survey and mapping, and like agriculture. But this is just the beginning, and it's a new market. And between 2003 and 2005, uh, consumer drone revenue, revenue is $1.7 billion and it's growing very rapidly. Drone is cool, but what is even cooler is money. How we make money? <laughs> drone, we sell drone that it comes with the initial application, take photo, record video, and uh, make survey. And we have also a marketplace for third party hardware developers. We sell the hardware for the drone through our platform to the old drone users and we take 5% from that. And we have also application platform that keeps all application, third part and in-house applications, one platform and developers can sell their application through our platform to the drone use, users and we take 20% from that. And uh, our target, target audience's first year, if we have a look at the drone businesses, like agriculture and uh, construction, all came from the hobbyists, and they are actually innovator guys who make new, new things with the drones, and businesses mostly focused on the how to earn money from that business. And there is a gap between the hobbyists, developers, and the businesses, and we targeted first year to go to hobbyists to, to find a new possible drone application to come up the businesses. In our team, we are currently two people, and there is Maxim has seven years experience from software development, and he is ex-Microsoft intern, and there is me, I used to work as the drone developer, and uh, we already made our first prototype, and it flies two times longer than our competitors, and we're gonna launch our first pro uh, beta version this winter. If you are interested, you can go to our website and sign up to be the first to know. Thank you. Okay, you guys are so fast today, that's like, it's a mind blow. Like normally, like, okay. <laughs> like all the presentations take for ages. <laughs> like 20, 30 minutes. Okay, anyway, are there any questions? And before we go to the first question, uh, I have to say something because uh, there was actually initially another startup intro planned yeah. And Tommy just jumped in like yesterday. So <laughs> I guess we can do another round of applause for him. Like, Thank you. Thank you. He, was, he was really spontaneous and probably he would have joined the 30 seconds of fame. But yeah, now he did like the, the full, not even 10 minutes, but the full five minutes. <laughs> anyway, okay, all right. Uh, here was the first question. Thank you. Um, you. You said you offer the drone and you offer like an app, an 
so a piece of software for that. Can you give one or two examples of what would that be? Uh, drones comes with initial application, take photo, record video, and make survey. And it comes with APIs for developers can integrate their software easily with Drony. And also we have application platform. They can sell their application to other users. Oh, OK, but example? Example like one is they are using for the collecting aerial data for the pollution to analyze the how pollution how change some something like one one uh, startup working with us for that project. Okay, thanks. So you have one drone, like it's the same for everyone, right? Yeah. But is the need always the same? Let's say you're in agriculture, you need to fly for a very long time. Or uh, yeah, we, we made our drone customizable. It has plug and play hardware connectivity that you can switch the sensors just with the USB port. You can switch and uh, run another application for other purposes. No, that I understand. But I mean, I don't know if you want to survey, like check if an area is polluted or you want to, to, to stay uh, uh, flying a really long time. For uh, someone else, it may be a totally different need. Yeah. So your you hardware will be. If, um, the yep. well, right? Yeah, we focused on the application that can be done with 300 gram payload and we flew, we fly 8 minutes, that's some application we can do, some application we cannot do, but first we, we are going with the airplane that there is a gap, most of companies making uh, quadcopters that they fly uh, tw around 20 minutes that you can buy for $1,000 and that they are limited with the range and the flight time and the flight char characteristics. And we, we are going with the airplane to fly longer for other applications that quad corpus cannot do. Anything else? I only, uh, only hardly know that for uh, Austria, but there are uh, legal limitations for flying these things. Uh, how, how do you cope with that? Uh, yeah, FAA, FAA hasn't come up. FAA and uh, Federal Aviation Association and the European Aerospace Association, they, they hasn't come up with the laws yet, and they, they publish a draft of rules, set of rules that takes 12 and 25 months to uh, to eval evaluate that how it is, and we we are setting in our system this this some of these rules that you cannot fr fly in airport. That's automatically airplanes cannot go there and cannot fly mm -hmm. in urban areas. Mm -hmm. We are preparing in our system that we will be ready when uh, these rules will be the low potentially. Okay. And another very basic question: Is it uh, is it hard to? Fly. Uh, we, I use one of your drones. Uh, if I want we, one, could I just use it? Yeah, uh, drones. Most of them designed for the uh, used by pilots, for technicians, for engineers, and we designed to be used by everyone without mm -hmm. any uh, instruction book that everybody can buy and just directly without instruction book rules they can use it. So it flies autonomously. Yeah, autonomously. We don't. So we don't have manual flight even. Not at all. No, no. Just you can you can look. Not even if I want. Okay. Next question. Or was it the last question already? You mentioned that you have uh, three hundred grams payload. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about? Uh, a few other technical specifications, like how long does it fly and how fast does it go ah, and fly? Yeah, and with, with 300 gram payload, it flies 80 minutes and it is 80, 80 zero minutes, and it yeah, it optimized it optimized to fly at 40 meter per second. This is the speed that we reached the high flight time, and it, of course, it's changed the with wind wind condition when it changes and flight time changes. It's for optimum weather conditions, 80 minutes. In case it doesn't, uh, for some reason, doesn't get back to you, uh, is there a, a way to, to uh, 
to, to find it again. <laughs> again? I, I, I didn't understand what No, I mean, uh, it, 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 it flies autonomously. Yeah. And in case it just, uh, there's kind of uh, battery is low or condition I, with when, the when it, when whatever, it is, uh, then you, how do you, do you yeah, find of, it again? Of course, on the screen there is a back to home button, just, you can just type it and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's automatically come to, uh, come to home location and land and if battery gets lost, automatically come back without even pressing button. Uh, we, are, we, we are we are we are not. How much is this startup package? Uh, even even not thousand dollars, nine hundred forty nine dollars. Just airplane comes with the initial applications. <laughs>